All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akim who go out throughout the four corners of the earth to preach this truth in all sincerity, you know, and risking their lives to do so. It's the brother Tawab Ash from the Great Millstone Northwest, uh, humbly. Uh, just another day in Babylon, getting ready to go out here and, uh, you know, start camp and uh, give these people hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, as in the days of Noe, these motherfuckers are sitting here all comfortable. You know, they got a little 5K run going on up the street and, uh, you know, living living that good life. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, the most high is, is very soon going to bring all that to naught. And, uh, you know, for the nation of Israel, you know, you want to be uh, you want to be as of choice gold and not as of soot, you know, worthless uh, material. So like, um, yeah, you want to be, uh, you know, you want to be a righteous vessel, a useful vessel, and not a vessel under dishonor, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the scriptures. This is John, uh, 1 John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So you ain't supposed to trust every, every uh, uh, Jake that comes up to the camp just because they're a Negro, Latino, or Native American. Right, you gotta test the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be just loving everybody just because they come up in there, Jake. Right now, yeah, we care for our people, but it, it comes with stipulations, man. Especially when it comes to this truth. You know, obviously we we don't have the proper judgment, or Apostle Tahar wouldn't have the uh, decree out that we ain't letting nobody in the camps right now because people are being too easy with who they let in the camps. You know, they're not they're not bringing forth any judgment. You know, that's the problem. Right, you can't sweep shit under the rug just so you look like you have a big camp. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with things accordingly. You know, but you you know you want to have mercy. You know, judgment, mercy, and faith are the weightier matters of the law. So with your your judgment has to come mercy and faith, first and foremost. Right. But try the spirits whether they are of the Most High. So how do you try the spirits, whether they are of the most high with these scriptures? You bring out these scriptures, and if it resonates with that, Jake, hey, they might be part of the elect, right? But it doesn't just stop there. You have to continue to, you know, test and, 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 and uh, uh, you know, mine. You're mining, man. We're, we're looking for choice gold out here, not just any old buddy who want to be a part of the camp. Uh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right, and there's a lot of uh, false prophets that, that claim to be of this truth, but are teaching that the RFID chip is an embargo, teaching that, um, you know, Edomites can make it to the kingdom. You know, that's all false. False. It's a lie. Right? Hereby, no, uh, verse 2, Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High, even the spirit that confess, confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach, is come in the flesh is come in the flesh is of power or is of the most high and every spirit not he yeah, has see how it doesn't say he is the most high it says he is of the most high and every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of the most high right so you got to be on the right accord man you got to believe that Yahweh Shai came down here as a man lived life as a man was tempted just as every other man but fought that temptation it was perfect right and then uh died and was resurrected right and this is the spirit of the antichrist wherefore ye have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world a uh, now already is it in the world right so hey i'm also get uh first thessalonians let me see first thessalonians 5 and 21 prove all things hold fast that which is good right so you got to prove a brother man when he's coming in you know these 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 brothers up here man proved me before they started letting me uh fellowship you know i had to put in time and show diligence and show a proper uh order 
before I was able to even just come hang out. And I'm not talking about being across the line. You know, that was a long time before that happened. But it was all in the spirit of things, man. And you got to show your diligence. You got to show yourself approved, man. You got to study to show yourself approved that you know these scriptures and that you're willing to come out on the highways and the byways. You'd encounter the cost, willing to put your life on the line for your how about shimmy was shot. Right, all these things have to happen and be proven before you come in this camp. Right, prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. So if a brother is good, you know, because there's no good besides Yahweh Shai, you know, and even he said there's no good um, but, but the Father. So, you know, the Most High, man, he's good. And if you are of the Most High, then your spirit will be uh, in righteousness to the best of its ability. You know, we're all men here. That's why the, the, the weightier matters of the law are mercy, judgment, and faith. Because that's what's to show a brother approved. I'm also going to grab 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all be, be uh, appear before the judgment seat of the Most High. Uh, or Salakia. Sal sal the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. That everyone may receive the uh, things done in his body. According that he hath done. Whether it be good or whether it be bad. So... You know, even in going out and doing this work, man, the Most High is going to test it, whether it be uh, good or whether it be bad. You know, he judges the, judges the inward parts of man. Right? As he, as he spoke about uh, with Samuel, and, and, or in the, in the uh, book of Samuel, when he was judging uh, who, who was the king. Because Samuel saw it that, thought that um, uh, Absalom was going to be the uh be the one i believe no it wasn't absalom it was uh david's older brother so like let me see if i can find it real quick that's a good uh oh eliab uh eliab right that's who uh the most that's who samuel wanted but the most high wanted david All right this is uh first samuel 16 and seven, but the Most High said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I refused him. For the Lord seeketh not uh, as man seeth, or the, uh, the Most High seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Most High looketh on the heart, right? What is in the mind? What is the, the, the moral fortitude of this person? That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to to that he hath uh, that he hath done. So, hey, you know you're gonna be judged on what you did here. Was it in righteousness or what is it in vanity? You know, do you truly love the Most High or is it with uh, lips? You know, but your heart is far from Him. You know, hey man, that's spiritual because. I just did uh, some homework on that and got some more edification. And look at this. This lesson right here is going to uh, even deeper into that edification. All right, this is Acts 17 and 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So they were told these things, they believed, and then they proved it with these scriptures, man. And that's the sign of a true brother. You know, you tell them things and they don't just take it for face value. Now they trust you and love you, but they search it out in the scriptures to make sure, right? That is a brother. A brother that the most High is dealing with will do that because it will be in him to do so, right? Because the scriptures say it, all right? And that's where their, your faith has to kick in, you know. And if a, if a man's goings are of the Lord, you know he's gonna he's gonna prove everything, you know. And that's day, man. That's what all these scriptures were about. I got one more. I got uh, Isaiah thirty four and sixteen. So like you, just when you just when you think you're done, the Most High got another one for you. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. No one shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit hath gathered them. So when you read this book and you get all this information out of the book, 
the most high is the one that brings forth the increase and that's what he tests you with you know whether these things be in you and of you or not you know because hey even even fool's gold will look good for a minute until you up right up on it and you put it next to some real gold you're gonna see real quick the, the huge difference Right? And that's what the Most High doing, man. He, he, he's choosing that choice, prime, pure gold, man. And, it, and that's all he wants. 144,000, 12,000 out of each tribe of the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. Right? And the confusion of face, Akim, that be uh, scattered throughout the four corners when these other nations, looking like these other nations, but actually come from the bloodline of Jacob. You know, Isaac, Abraham chosen line man and of that chose and of that choice chosen line there's a choice uh, uh seed of that line right you might have uh let's say you grow herbs and uh you grow uh, cilantro oregano thyme cur uh, cumin uh turmeric right but your favorite your favorite herb that you grow is cilantro right you're gonna give that cilantro a little bit extra love because that's your favorite and that's all there is to it, man. Play games if you want to. <laughs> but hey, hopefully, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, and of you, how about you, how shy? You know? Uh, and with that, I'm just going to wrap it up. I want to say shalom to you, Akim, who are truly pushing this uh, this word and, and uh, searching out, you know, with a flashlight, you know, uh, fishing for the uh, for the elect. You know, and throwing back the, the, the bad fish and, and keeping the good fish. You know, you ain't going to take the bad fish and try to sell it at the market. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> ain't nobody going to buy that shit. And you're going to look crazy for putting uh, a product out there that's not of a good uh, uh, a good product. You know what I'm saying? With that, I'm going to say shalom.